Hi and welcome to another tutorial from Homes. So today we're looking at the color overlay tutorial. So this is a um, an effect I've been trying to get for some years now in Blender and I just couldn't quite work it out and I don't see any of the tutorials on it and um, I happened to find a, a, a forum I think on Stack Overflow that gave me some insight and I decided to try certain things and I came up with something really nice. Right, I came up with the overlay effect here. So we're gonna take a look at what that is. I have a plane which has a wave modifier applied to it just for reference and I have some back background that I had in my preview here with some stars shining. All right, the only thing I don't have is a flame but it's not those things are not necessary, right? I also have a light here but this is also not necessary. Good, so we have this here, our wave and we just see it's just normal parameters that I've set here. Nothing special about this. The wave just have a material on it um, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this color and let's just take off this material just to show you that this it's not really necessary that we have this material here emission and let's paste this purple here so it's just a normal purple um, shader here nothing too fancy cool so we're going to go ahead and duplicate this wave and I'm going to put it here let's lift it up on the Z a little bit so it separates from the wave behind it and we're going to enter in um, a shader node group. So let's go ahead and search for a mix shader, <coughs> excuse me, and and shader. And let's go ahead and add the main shader, the transparent BSDF. And let's add a diffuse BSDF. Cool. So I'm going to enter in, enter in this diffuse in the bottom part of the mix. The transparency in the top part of the shader for the mix shader and then we're going to enter it, the mix shader into the top part of the add shader then we're going to add the transparency to the add shader now and we're going to add the shader now to the surface material output now you're going to get black um, for this oh sorry I should have done that I should have just um I should have separated these but that's okay what we can do is that um I'm just going to hit shift in here and just that's my own shortcut and just unlink it and then just give back this purple here uh, do, 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 emission and create this purple again and just swing it and create this purple yeah this should be all right cool and you're going to get black here and that's only because we don't have alpha blend enabled so we're going to go ahead and enable alpha blend and we can see with the transparent shader that we get to see what's behind us but we don't have any coloration changes here and that's because we need to add some colors to this setup so we're going to go ahead and just add a red for this diffuse and we see immediately that we get a red here for this purple here and the magic happens when we add the transparency color now so if we add the transparency color all right we can see that we can play about with how the overlay looks right and because we're using add it takes the color from behind it right to, to um, add to its color version here so if we add a different color behind it let's go ahead and, and make it its own color and uh, let's change this to say a yellow and see what that produces cool we can see here now that we only have three um you only have three waves but we have here five colors so we have the color in the center here this purple we have this um burgundy um sort of color here um purple maroon i've forgotten the name of this color it's, it's a beautiful color and then we have the orange here and we have the yellow and as the wave moves together you can see that we have a beautiful overlay color and it doesn't just stop with this we can always just change the FAC to see how the color interacts right so we can get more vibrant colors with the FAC because we use the fuse we can also use the light to affect the way that this looks um, let's go into light and show you yeah you see here so we see in the render view we see we get a different color variant here just by moving the light really nice Good. we can change the transparency color itself to get a different look as well 
you know and you've, you've got quite a lot of options here all right to create this color overlay now if i had known this effect before this would have been perfect for the wave trail right but i didn't know it before and i don't see any tutorials on it so this is actually a really nice way to get you some creative color mixing in between right so here's an example of what i did when i just jimmied up something together and i got this wonderful wave effect that we have here where we're seeing lots of colors here represented and there's not that many waves and they're interacting with each other all right, to produce something that looks really nice you can see here that we have the overlay showing really nice this is this is a great effect for 2d motion graphics and um, I'm very happy to have figured it out so I'm sharing it with you guys very important I think it's a big game changer just as important say to me as the boolean discovery that it was a mask those two years ago so I think this is excellent for you to have and to use and this is the color over overlay it's a simple setup here it's literally just a diffuse a transparency a mix and an add very easy to understand let's just zoom in so that you can see it here but probably in the case you couldn't see it before and you have lots of options to sort of mess around with the way it looks and stuff you know really beautiful effect cool so until i see you again with another tutorial get up and design a new door later